Hello and welcome to a 30 minute chair yoga class. My name is Leah and I will be guiding your practice today. We'll get started um, on a chair and I ask that everyone take off their shoes for practice. So free your feet. Um, it feels great to actually feel the soles of your feet touching the earth. And then for your chair, <clears throat> the only thing you need for practice is a sturdy chair with no arms. So get your chair ready, take your shoes off, and then orient whatever device you're using to watch me in such a way that you will not be tweaking your neck looking down or looking too far up at me. So ideally I'm somewhere about at eye level when you're seated. So that should help you to feel nice and comfortable during practice. So we're going to begin sitting here on the chair. Place the feet flat on the ground, all 10 toes point forward. And your ankles will be under your knees. <clears throat> And you're sitting up nice and tall. So I'm just going to turn so you can see my back and my um, feet. So because I have short legs, I'm scooted to the front of my seats in order to make sure my feet are flat on the mat, on the ground. And then I like to stack shoulders over hips. My chin is parallel to the ground and my eyes are gazing at something at eye level. And I can imagine the sensation of my spine getting elongated and pulled from the crown of the head toward the sky. So a sensation of lightness in the spine and feeling supported in your sits bones here. Hands are gently resting in the lap. And we might gently close the eyes if that feels comfortable as we begin. Let's take a deep breath in here together, slowly drawing breath into the body through the nose. And just give a big sigh out, <sighs> relax a little bit. We'll take another deep breath, drawing the breath through the nose. And this time exhaling through the nose. Now bring your hands to your belly. On the inhale, see if you can expand the belly, sending breath into the belly by pressing the diaphragm down. And then as you exhale, notice the belly dropping toward the spine. Inhale again, the belly expands, and then the ribs and chest lift. And then we exhale, the belly draws toward the spine. Find a natural pace for your breath. You can release the hands into the lap. We're taking full deep inhales through the nose and slow, complete exhales out the nose. The yogic breath or ujjayi breath is an ocean sounding breath. And if you're able to use this, I encourage you to do so. This helps us to hear the breath by inhaling and drawing breath through the nose and kind of constricting the back of the throat. And then as you exhale, you do the same, pressing the breath to the back of the throat. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. From here, we'll release the hands down. As we inhale, flip the palms toward the sky and draw the arms upward. As you exhale, flip the palms down and lower them down. Inhale, the arms rise, maybe a little bit higher. Exhale, dropping them down, palms face down. Inhale, lifting, maybe higher. Exhale, lowering. Spine is still long. Eyes gently open and focused. Last one, inhale, palms facing up. 
and then see if you can reach your, your hands overhead, reaching for the sky, and then plug the shoulders into the back. So the shoulders move away from the ears and try to spin the palms so the pinkies face in. We'll hold here for three, for two, and one. And then spin palms face out, lower the arms all the way down. We'll loosen up the neck here, inhaling. And as you exhale, turn the head to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, turn head to the left. The rest of your body is stable and steady. Spine is long. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist head to the right. Inhale, center, head looks to the left. Inhale, coming back to center. This time as we inhale, let's lift the chin to the sky. And as you exhale, slowly lower the chin all the way to the chest. Inhale, lifting chin to the sky. Exhale, lowering chin to chest. Last one, inhale, lifting chin to the sky. Exhale, lowering chin to the chest. Inhale, coming back to neutral. From here, we take a big breath into the belly. And on the exhale, the right ear drops toward the right shoulder. Stay here for a round of breath, inhaling and exhaling. As we inhale, head lifts back to center. Inhale here. Exhale, drop left ear to left shoulder. Stay for a round of breath. Noticing how this side of the neck feels. Inhale, coming back to center. On the next inhale, let's lift the chin to the sky and imagine drawing circles with your chin. So we'll make three circles in one direction, moving slowly. And if you reach any spots where you find pain or tension, you might pause and slow yourself down. When you get to the head the chin reaching toward the sky, let's switch directions. Making those circles with the chin, now going in the opposite direction. Getting a full range of motion of the neck to whatever degree you have the ability for. And we're consciously trying to observe the body here. And if you notice limitations, Let's accept them and accept where we are today in this moment and just acknowledge that each day is different. So the next time we try these positions, they might feel different and we might have a greater range of motion. From there, on the next inhale, let's reach the arms out, flip the palms to face the walls and really press the walls away from you. Deep breath in, slow breath out. Then let's point the fingers down, pressing the backs of the palms toward the walls, pressing the walls away with the back of the wrist. Deep breath in, slow breath out. And then we'll make fists with the hands and circle the wrists. The arms are stable. We're trying to isolate movement into the wrists and then reverse that circle. So circle the other way. Pausing here. From here with fists, we're going to keep the arms lifted, the elbows stay and shoulders stay in place. And we'll sweep the hands down toward the torso and then sweep them away. So we'll bring them in toward the body and away in toward the body and away. And this time we'll make full circles. So it's like we're painting on a canvas with both the right and left hand. We're painting circles and we'll switch directions. I know your triceps are working. 
good. And then we'll release the arms down, shake them out. Excellent. We'll do some shoulder circles here. So let's take the right arm, reach it forward, up, and back. Forward, up, and back. One more time. The rest of the body stays stable. And then we'll take those circles in the other direction. Again, notice your limitations and your range of motion, accepting yourself where you are today. If your circles are here, that's fine. You're still getting some lubrication to the joint and improving flexibility. Take it to the other side. So the left arm reaches forward, up, and back. Forward, up, and back. Forward, up, and back. And we'll change direction. Reaching back, forward, and down. Back, up, forward, and down. Great. All right, and then shake your shoulders out if you need a little shake. And if your neck needs a little shake, go ahead and do that. From here, we'll start to work on the spine. So hands come into the lap and we'll do what are called um, cat-cow shapes. So I'm going to turn so you can see my spine here. <clears throat> I start out sitting up nice and tall, hands on the legs. As I inhale, I tuck the chin and round the back. My shoulders draw forward. And then as I exhale, I draw the heart forward and arch the back, tipping chin to the sky. Inhale, rounding, shape of a cat. Exhale, heart forward, chin to the sky, cow. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. One more, cat and cow. Coming back to center. We'll inhale here in center. As you exhale, reach your uh, left hand for the outer right knee. We're going to reach the right hand to the right shoulder, and we're going to turn the torso to face the right. My knees are pointing forward, my toes are pointing forward, hips are pointing forward. So only from the navel up have I started to twist. I'm breathing here, deep breath into the belly. Exhale, coming back to center, left hand to left shoulder, right hand outside left knee. Inhale here, sitting up nice and tall. As I exhale, I twist my torso to the left. Knees, toes, and hips all pointing forward, and it's only my shoulders really and upper torso that have started to twist to the left. Deep breath in, slow breath out, coming back to center. We'll try that one more time. This time we'll bring hands to the heart, pressing the palms together and seeing if we can get the elbows and wrists in a nice line. Roll the shoulders back and see if you can relax the jaw, the neck and the shoulders. Deep inhale here. As you exhale, twist the upper body to the right. It can be a small twist. Deep breath in, slow breath out. You might notice that you're able to twist a little bit further as you exhale. And on your next breath in, we'll come back to center. Nice full breath here at center. And as you exhale, twist to the left. It can be a small movement, deep inhale. Maybe you twist a little deeper as you exhale. Inhale, coming to center. From here, we'll release the hands down. You might shake them out and wiggle the fingers. That always feels good. And then we'll bring hands to the chair for some added stability. <clears throat> and we're going to start to work um, on lifting the legs, working on some core strength. So we worked on 
spinal um, range of motion and flexibility. And so now we're going to work on toning the abdominal muscles. And that's going to help us to stay strong and um, hold up our spine. <clears throat> From the inhale, let's come bring the right foot up onto the toe. I'll turn so you can see me from the side. So the right foot is on, I'm up on my right tippy toe. You can choose to stay here or see if you can lift the right knee. So I'm still sitting up nice and tall, gaze is straight ahead. And with my knee lifted, now I'm gonna circle the right ankle. So we're doing a few things here. We're working our core as we lift the leg and we're bringing lubrication and um, working on the flexibility of the ankle joint. Circling one way and then the other. And then releasing that foot down to the ground, sitting up nice and tall, point, coming up onto the toes of the left foot. You can stay right here or lift the left knee and then circle the left ankle. You might flex and point the toes and then you do that if that feels good. And you should, if you bring hand to belly, be able to feel some core engagement there. So your muscles are working to hold up that leg. And then we'll set the foot down. Excellent. From here, we'll turn in the chair. So we're sitting side facing. <clears throat> The, I have my right um, hip on the front edge of the chair. So sitting here, I inhale with a long spine. And as I exhale, I'm going to take the right leg and press it back so that I get some extension of the right hip. In order to do this, you might need to really perch your bum at the very corner of the chair. You want to feel stable, so be, it's good to hold on to the seat of the chair or the back of the chair and your hips are, and toes are all facing the direction that you're looking, and you just slid the right foot back, so you're getting some flexion in this right hip. You might feel some stretch in the calf, the quad as well. Breathing here, deep breath into the belly. Slow breath out through the nose. Deep breath into the belly. Slow breath out the nose. One more. Deep breath into the belly. You might take hand to hip here or even lift your hand up high. And then release. Release the arm. Come back to center. And we'll take that stretch to the other side. So that's a modified lunge or warrior one. We'll rotate on the chair, coming to the very tip. This time my left um, leg is on the outside edge of the seat. Sitting up nice and tall, looking straight ahead, deep inhale through the nose. And as I exhale, I press the left foot behind me, starting to um, flex into the left hip. So you might be here, you might be here, wherever you are, you should feel something here at the front of the left hip. And if you can extend the leg further back, maybe putting more weight into the right leg, you can try that. Wherever you are, slow deep breath in, slow full breath out. Breathing here, hand to hip if you'd like, or lifting the hand to the sky, left hand to the sky. Last breath in this posture and lower the arm, coming back to center. From here, let's sit our hips down into the chair, lifting the shoulders up. And then we'll lift all 10 toes to the sky and set them down. Lift the heels and set them down. 
lift the toes and balls of the feet, set them down, lift the heels and set them down. Now, keeping the heels and balls of the feet on the ground, can you lift all 10 toes, just the toes, and then try to set them down, starting with the pinky toe. Pinky toe, and then the next one, the next one, the next one, the next one. And then let's lift all 10 toes. And now we'll try to set them down, starting with the big toe. Big toe, next toe, next toe. I don't know the names for them all. Do we get to the pinky? Great. So we've worked um, on our spine, we've worked our hips a little bit, a little bit of the knees and ankles and feet, as well as shoulders, elbows, wrists, the neck. And now we'll do a little bit of standing if you are able to. So <clears throat> follow me, we'll just stand up. We're gonna keep using our chair. I'm going to turn it simply so that you can see me. So standing behind your chair, all 10 toes point forward. Take a soft bend in the knees so you're not locking your knees and just look straight ahead. Relax the shoulders, making sure that you're not tensing up and lifting them toward the ears. Deep breath in here. And then let's release the hands. Inhale, palms face up and we'll lift the arms to the sky. Exhale, palms face down, and we lower the arms. Two more. Inhale, lifting the arms to the sky. Exhale, palms face down, lowering the arms. Last one. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lowering. This time, as we inhale, Plant the hands on your chair at shoulder distance, and we're gonna to begin to walk back away from the chair. So we're coming into a forward fold, slowly taking small steps away from the chair. And when you get to uh, the distance that feels right for you, whatever that is, you should feel some stretch in the low back maybe also in the shoulders and even the thoracic spine, the rib cage spine around the rib cage. <clears throat> so we'll be here and see if you can release the head, relax the head, and even try relaxing the shoulders. So letting yourself hang a little bit in this posture. The knees have a soft bend in them and your hips should be over your feet. So I don't want you leaning, putting weight on your, sh on your um, arms. I really want you to be folded forward. And breathing here. If you feel super stable, you might try releasing one arm down, resting it on your um, thighs, and then you might even rest the other arm on the thighs. That takes some core strength. One more breath wherever you are. And on the next inhale, we'll lift the head and heart and start to walk back toward the chair. Pausing here, all 10 toes face forward. And we're gently tucking the tailbone here, <clears throat> meaning trying to take the arch out of the low spine. And that helps to engage the abdominal muscles. From here, let's take a step back with the right leg and foot, and we're coming into a lunge. So all 10 toes face front. We're holding onto the chair for stability. We're gonna bend into this left knee until you feel a stretch in the back leg. Your, your heel might be up off the ground. See if you can press the heel down toward the ground to maximize the stretch. Wherever you are, we'll stay for four breaths. Deep breath into the belly. Slow breath out through the nose. Deep breath in and out. Noticing any areas of tension, accepting what you find working through the challenge of this posture. A 
and then we'll slowly walk ourselves back to standing right next to the chair. Feeling grounded and stable on all 10 toes, feet are planted. And then we'll step the left foot back, coming into a lunge on the left side. Again, the right knee is bending to your degree. And it's good to have the knee over the ankle. If your knee is, if you see your knee way in front of the ankle, then come slightly out of the bend and see if you can scoot the back heel back and then bend again into that leg. We're pressing the back heel toward the ground. The hips are pointed forward, shoulders are relaxed. Eyes are on a focal point, something at eye level. Deep breath in, slow breath out. Breathing in and breathing out. One more, slow, deep inhale, slow, complete exhale. And then we'll come back to stand at center. We'll do a little bit of balancing before we come back to our seat. So I'd like you to, I'm going to turn so you can see me. So all 10 toes are pointing forward and, and we're in our strong posture here. We'll come, we'll turn, sorry, come up onto the right toes and then press down through the left foot energetically. Bring the one hand to the hip if, you, if it feels stable. If not, both hands on the chair is fine. And then let's lift this right foot just like we did when we were seated. Once you have the foot lifted, you might see if you can open it to the right. If you're knocking into your chair here, put the foot back down and we'll try it a different way. And that is flip, uh, turn the toes to the right side. So your foot is turned to the right. That means your knee and toes will be um, pointing to the right. And then from there, lift the knee so that should have you oriented so that you're, you have space from the chair. Wherever you are, we'll be here for three breaths. Your toes can be flexed or pointed and your toe, your foot can be close to the ground or high up off the ground. You do what feels stable and safe. We're building strength here in the quads, in the core and we're working on our hips. Breathing for one more, slow deep inhale and a slow complete exhale. And then we'll lower the toes, lower the heels and turn the toes to face forward. So let's try that on the other side. So there's two ways to come into the posture you can come forward facing by coming, pressing the weight into the right foot, coming up on the left toes, lifting the left foot, and then opening the knee out. Or starting with feet on the ground, you rotate the left foot to point out to the left, come up onto the toes, and then lift the left leg. Wherever you are, notice your hips and if they have come out of alignment. So often when we take the weight off of one foot and put the weight into the only one leg, we, our hip comes out of alignment and that puts too much weight on a weak part of our uh, joint. So what we want to do is keep the hips level one to the other. And a good way to test that is by putting both hands on your hips. Okay, I know you've been standing here, probably balancing for a long time. So we'll just take one more deep breath, let it go, and then plant the foot on the ground, heel on the ground, toes face forward. So our last balance here will be <clears throat> um, uh, another hip flex flexion, extension, sorry. So we will um, stand here 
And then on an inhale, come up onto the ball of the right foot. On the next breath, bend the right knee and see if you can lift the right foot behind you. The right knee will come, bring it into alignment with the left. So it might be ahead of the left, let's bring it back into alignment. And from here, see if you can press your right heel toward your glute, toward your bum. That's gonna give you a quad stretch. Wherever you are, we'll breathe. In and out. Inhaling into the belly and exhaling through the nose. Two more breaths, pressing into the standing leg and seeing if you can feel some lightness through the hips and upper body. One more deep breath in, slow breath out and lower the right foot to meet the left. Shake your legs a little, find some stillness, gazing at a focal point at eye level, bringing the weight into the right foot, we'll bend the left knee lifting the left foot off the ground and then bringing that left knee in alignment with the right. So you probably need to look down to check that. And then coming back so your gaze is level. So your head is lifted and the spine is long. From here, you might try flexing the back foot and reaching that heel toward the glute. So building some strength in the quad. Breathing here. Slow, deep inhale, slow, complete exhale. And then we'll drop the left foot to meet the right and we can return to our seat. We'll close the eyes once you feel settled. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Feel the body expand. And sigh it out. Come back to your natural rhythm for breath. And you might scan the body Noticing how you feel. Finding some areas of comfort and ease. Noticing places where you feel your muscles have done some work. Maybe you feel some areas of tension or sensitivity, that's okay. On the next breath in, let's send ourselves some gratitude for coming to this practice today. We can bring our hands to our hearts. You might gently bow your head if that feels comfortable. And I'd like you to think of something in your life today in this moment that brings you joy. And with that thing in mind, we'll take a deep, slow inhale, filling the body with breath. And a big sigh out. I would like to send gratitude for you for sharing your practice today with me. Namaste. That means the light in me sees and honors the light in you. Thank you for practicing. <laughs>